Good morning students and welcome back to the e-learning classes provided by St. Michael's Academy. So in this video, I am going to start the next chapter of class 3, chapter A, editing and formatting. So in this chapter, we are going to see the topics. The first topic is editing in MS Word and second topic is formatting command. And in this video, we will cover only the first topic, editing in MS Word. And in this topic, we will see first inserting text, second selecting text, third deleting text, fourth is third copy and paste command, and fifth is undo and redo. So how we do undo and redo in MS Word. So as in previous chapter, you have already learned that MS Word is a word processor application and which helps to work with text and it has lots of features to make the text look more attractive and presentable. So in this chapter, we will see the two features of MS Word. First is editing feature and second is formatting commands. So let's start with the first topic, editing in MS Word. So editing command means making changes in the text is called editing command. So making changes in the text in MS Word is called editing command. So let's see some of the important editing options in MS Word. So first is inserting text. So how we can insert text in MS Word? So to add a new text within the existing text content. So you have to add a new text within the existing text content. So just you have to click at the location where you want to insert the text. So when you want to add a new text within the existing text context, so you have just you have to click at that location where you want to insert the text and you just start typing what you have to type as text in MS Word in that existing context. So now we will see the second editing options in MS Word is selecting the text. So in MS Word selecting text is one of the primary tasks you need to do while formatting a word document. So the selecting text is one of the primary tasks you need to do to format the word document. So to format a word document you just need to select the text first. So on a selected text you can perform number of activity. So in a selected text you can perform number of operations like deleting the text, copying the text, moving the text and formatting the text itself. So it is very important to select the text words in MS Word to format it, to delete it or to copy it or to move the text in MS Word. First you have to select the text. So let's see how we can select the text in MS Word. So in MS Word we can select the text if we want to select the text between the two words. So if we want to select the text between two words, so first we have to click at the starting point. So first of all we have to click at the starting point to select the text between two words. So at the starting point we have to click at the starting point and just hold down the shift and then we have to click at the end point to select the text between the two points. So to select the text between the two points, first we have to click at that starting point and then we have to hold down the shift and then we have to click at the end point to select the text. And second option we can select the text between the two points is you can also select the text block by just holding the shift key and then using the right and left arrow key. So first method is to select the text between two points is first you have to click at the starting point and just hold down the shift and then you have to click at the end point 
टू सेलेक्ट दी टेक्स एंड नेक्स्ट मेथड इज टू सेलेक्ट दी टेक्स बिटवीन दी टू पॉइंट इज वेन बाय जस्ट होल्डिंग डाउन दी शिफ्ट की एंड देन यूजिंग दी राइट एंड लेफ्ट एरो की टू सेलेक्ट दी टेक्स सो नाउ वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन सेलेक्ट दी सिंगल वर्ड और अ पैराग्राफ और अ सेंटेंस इन एमएस वर्ड सो फर्स्ट to select a single word in ms word we have to double click so we have to double click anywhere on the word you want to select so when we want to select a single word so we have to double click anywhere on the word you want to select the second is to select a paragraph so to select a paragraph in ms word so we have to triple click anywhere on a paragraph to select the paragraph in ms word the third is to select a sentence in ms word so to select a sentence in ms word we have to hold down the ctrl key so we have to hold down the ctrl key and we have to click anywhere in the sentence to select the sentence in ms word so in ms word to select the whole document so entire text in ms word we have to click so we have to uh, click ctrl plus a so we have to press the ctrl plus a short key to select the entire document in ms word so now we will see the third editing options in ms word is deleting the text so in ms word you can delete a character or a word in different ways so let's see how we can delete a character or a word in ms word so first to delete any character immediately to the left of the insertion point so to delete the character immediately to the left of the insertion point so you have to press the backspace so you have to press the backspace to delete the character immediately to the left of the insertion point the second is to delete a word to the left of the cursor so to delete a word to the left of the cursor you have to press ctrl plus backspace key together to delete a word to the left of the cursor the third is to delete a character immediately to the right of the cursor so to delete a character immediately to the right of the cursor you have to press the delete key so you have to press the delete key to delete a character immediately to the right side of the cursor four is to delete a word immediately to the right of the cursor you have to press ctrl plus delete key to delete a word immediately to the right side of the cursor so in this way you can delete a character or a word in ms word now we will see the fourth editing option in ms word is cut copy and paste so how we can cut copy and paste in ms word so let's see so first step so we have to first we have to select the text that we want to copy so first we will see how to copy and paste the text in ms word so first we have to select the text that we want to copy now step 2 we have to press the copy icon so when we select the text so the copy option will be eligible in the that selected text area so for we have to press the copy option so the text get copied to the clipboard or alternately you can also right click after the selection and then you have to click the copy command in the pop up box so to select to copy the text in ms word so to copy first you can press the copy icon so the text get copied to the clipboard so alternately also you can copy the text so you have to right click after selecting the text so after selecting the text you have to just right click on that selected text so a pop up box will appear in front of you and in that box you have to select the copy command to copy the text or else you can also press the short key ctrl plus c to copy the text 
Now step three. So place the cursor at the point where we want to copy the text. So where we want to copy that text first, we have to place the cursor at the point, and then you have to click at that point to copy the text. So you have to press the paste icon. So when we click at that point where we want to copy the text, so the press uh, the paste icon will be eligible at that point. So we have to press that press paste icon to copy the text. Or alternately, you can also right click at that point and then you have to select the paste option or command in the pop up box to copy the selected text. Or else you can also press the short key C T R L plus V to copy the selected copy text in the in that location where you want to copy the text. After copying, and we have to press the text. So to paste the copy text, just we have to press the short key C T R L plus V to paste the copy text at that location. Now we will see how we can cut and paste the copy text in MS Word. So the first step is we have to select the text that we want to copy. Now step two, we have to press the cut icon to remove the text and place it in the clipboard. Or alternatively, you can also right click just after selecting the text, and then you have to click on cut option. In the pop-up box to cut the text in the MS Word and then we place the text in the clipboard. Or else you can also press the short key to cut the text in C T R L plus X. Now step three, place the cursor where we want to move the text. Now when we cut that text in MS Word, then we have to place the text. So we have to place a cursor where we want to move the copy or the cut text in MS Word, and then we have to press the paste icon, or else you can also just right click and then select the paste command in the pop-up box, or else use the short key C T R L plus V to move the text in MS Word, and then to move the text we have to cut and paste the text. In MS Word, now the fifth editing option in MS Word is undo and redo command. So in MS Word, you can also rectify your mistakes by just using the undo and redo command. So in MS Word, the undo command reverses the last changes made. So it reverses back the last changes made in MS Word. So to undo. The last change is made, so it makes the so it reverses the last changes that you have made in MS Word. So you can also use the undo command by going to the Quick Access Toolbar and just using the icon undo. The icon for undo is the left left side arrow key. So it's just undo. So you have to select this icon from the Quick Access Toolbar. To use the undo command, or else you can also press the short key. To use the undo command is C T R L plus Z, and then you have to use the redo command. So the redo command just repeat the last verb. So it just repeat. It will repeat the last verb, and it will reverse the last verb the. So to redo command, so use the redo command. You can also go to the quick access toolbar and just select the option of redo command to redo the to repeat the last verb. To use, you have to use the redo command. So use select the redo option or redo command from the quick access toolbar to redo the verb last verb done. Or else you can also press the short key to use the redo command. Yes. C T R L plus Y. So in this way, you can reverse back or repeat the last verb done in M S Word with the help of undo and redo commands. So in this way, we have finished the first topic of this chapter, the editing command. So I hope you all have understood the topics. So revise the topic, and in the next video, I will further continue this chapter. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much.